to my channel or hello if you're new I'm Nadine and today I'm going to be redoing my room and as you can see my walls are yellow like a lemonade color yellow kind of like a very light yellow and I really want my walls to be white so sometime we're gonna be painting my walls white with my parents and stuff but for now I'm basically just going to be redoing it to be like an orange and blue theme so yeah let's get started okay so some things I already did was this is actually a curtain and I just folded it up and then this is a blanket I got at Goodwill it's my favorite thing ever and I just put that as like a bed runner thing and then I also got this velvet pillow at Goodwill and then these came from my old house and stuff and I used to have pink pillows on my bed but those are now in my closet and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be getting a new comforter. So yeah. And then over here, something that we're going to be doing is these shelves are my record table. So I just keep all my records in there. So I'm going to be taking these out and painting one orange and one blue, I think. And then I have my record player. And then my lava lamp that I got when I was like seven. I found it in my closet one day, so that's there, and it'll start working in a second. And then, I started this picture collage, and this was inspired by my friend Kylie, because she has a big orange, I mean, pff, a red and like white and black one in her room, so this is just an orange and blue one, and I'm going to be building more, or printing more, so I'll also show you that. So we're going to be starting off by making this garland and you're going to need some twine or string, some ribbon, and some scissors. And I'm just going to be cutting these but not too short and not too long, just long enough that you can tie it around your twine. Um, so yeah. You are also going to want to cut your twine slash string to the desired length of however long you want to hang it. Once you have all your ribbon cut, you are just going to tie them on your twine or string and just do that until it covers the whole string and however long you want it. And you can have as many colors of ribbons as you want. Okay, so I was tying an orange one on and oh my gosh, this is wire, like they're wires. I um, poked my thumb and it's bleeding. So. Yeah, finish the garland. Okay, let's get back. I think I'm gonna put it above my bed. But it's pretty easy to make. It only cut me once on my thumb, but that was my fault, so. Nice. Okay, I like that. Let's look. Okay, so now I'm gonna take these out. So. I can sand them so that the paint sticks better. So, got them right here, and now I'm gonna go outside to do this. Instead of painting them and having to sand them and do all that work, I'm gonna be going to Walmart later and just buying some spray paint. Okay, so I'm back, it's day two, and today I'm gonna be adding more to my picture collage on my wall right here so yeah let's get to it so basically all you do for this is I um, have my Chromebook right here and I'm just gonna be searching up like blue aesthetic and like orange aesthetic and like um looking on like Google and Chrome and then also I got some pictures off like Visco and Pinterest so just really, early, you can do pictures of anything, so just whatever like you want. So I'm going to find some pictures. Okay, so now you're going to open a Google Doc or whatever, or like a Word document, and then I just like this picture. So I'm going to copy image, and then paste it, and then do that with all the photos I want. So I think I have all my photos. Okay, so I now have all my 
printed out pictures. Um, and then I'm going to have a paper cutter to cut all the pictures out. And then to stick the pictures on my wall, I'm just using double-sided tape. So let's get started. So once you have all your pictures printed out, I'm just going to be cutting them using a paper cutter and just getting rid of all the white excess paper on the sides. And I'm just going to do that with all my pictures. Since I already have um, some of it up there, what I did before was I like all laid it out on my floor and then like put it on my wall from there. But I think I'm gonna have to like do it on my wall and like just see how it looks. So I guess we'll just do that. What I was doing is I put a little piece of double sided tape in each corner of the picture and then just stuck it on the wall in whatever design I wanted. This is the finished product of my wall, and it is pretty time consuming, but I think it's just really fun. You can do like any pictures you want, and yeah. So I'm at Walmart and I am getting spray paint, but I don't know its colors. I want to do one door orange, one door blue, but don't know which orange and blue. So I don't know if I want blue or orange or like this blue. I don't know. I like this blue. So we've decided with ultra matte rust-oleum. Okay, so it is day three and there is something in my eye. Okay, but today we're going to be um, painting my record player stand shelves. So I'm just going to take these out again. And like you saw from that last clip, I was at Walmart and we decided on white. So we're going to spray paint these puppies. Okay, I'm outside now and I'm going to spray paint these. I'm just shaking it up and then I'm going to do an even coat of the white spray paint all the way to cover the brown wood. And then once that dries, I'm going to do another coat of white and then a clear top coat to just seal it all in. Okay, so I have my finished um, spray painted um, doors, is that what these are called? And, and there we go. Ooh, they look great, don't they? Over here now. So this is what it looks like and I think it looks really good because it doesn't take away from the mural. So and it matches like your shutters. And yeah, it matches this, my blinds, so yes. Looks great. I also forgot to mention I put like some orange and blue papers under there to go with the theme. Hi boo, bless you. This is the after. Mainly just that garland, new pillow, my mural, and the white. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Bye.